In the math community, a gallery walk builds communication skills, collaborative skills, flexible thinking, and being open to other people's point of view. It extends students' content knowledge as they struggle to understand and provide feedback to their peers. It actively engages students in their own learning and begins to support consolidation of the mathematics. We're going to try something new today. We're going to try a gallery walk. Raise your hand if you know what a gallery walk is. A gallery walk is when we take a look at other people's work and we write in constructive comments. You're going to get a set of sticky notes and you're going to go around and give constructive feedback. Now, what does constructive feedback look like? If there's certain words that I'm hoping not to see, and we've done it in language, what words am I hoping not to see? Let's start with what constructive feedback is not. Negative feedback say, I don't like it when you did something wrong. Yes. Now, what other words am I hoping not to see? This work, um, I, this is awesome. It's, you should be more specific. Like, I like how you did your calculations, but I, I don't understand what, this me what, what you did with this. Exactly. So when you're giving feedback, not only are you telling them what they did right, you're also telling them parts that you don't understand. If it's a representation that's not clear to you, you can say, could you have done a number line? Could you have done a table? Could you have done a chart? If there's a part specifically that you don't understand, you can say, can you please clarify why you did this particular step? All right? So we want it to be as specific as possible so that when the teams go back to their laptop and they look at their work, they can use your input to make their answers better. Is, uh, like they put, uh, they put, uh, like yeah, they, they did, did 20 minutes. Yeah, they did, they did ratios. Yeah, they did ratios, ratios plus 10 minutes again and again and again. As well as they put the, uh, they did something, well, they did the, they put mass in kilograms as well. Yeah. So let's actually talk about this. Do, do you guys actually <laughs> really understand the calculations? What they're trying to do? Overall, it's really Yeah, overall it's really good, but the calculations, it's all mixed up. Wait, wait. Yeah, we're, we're not understanding calculations. Do you understand what they're trying to say here? I don't understand either, but this part I do understand. They're trying to like do a T chart pattern. I think it's pretty cool that they started from 100 and then they jumped. And I like the way that they use number line instead of a instead of a T chart or ratios. What I'd like you to do now is to actually go back and carefully read the feedback that you were given and see if there's any changes that you could make to make your representation more clear or to make your representation better. If there's certain words or vocabulary that you might want to include to make your representation better. Can we do that right now, please? Okay, from Luca. We like your calculation, but we think it would be clearer if you jumped by the same numbers instead of skipping. Well, actually, right here, we just started, and then but we started going by 20, and then yes. at 80, it started, it was multiplied yeah. by 2, so. Yeah, it was taking too long, so we just started multiplying by 2. And, and then, then we just we added, added the 40. Minutes. Yeah, we got to 320, and then we added 40 minutes. And we so got I don't see anything wrong with that. I disagree if that we should think. Change anything? Yeah. Yeah. So, so it says, why did you divide 500 by 2? Um, we divided 500 by 2. Because we wanted to find um, the, a half of 500 grams. So should we um, write this in our explanation? Yeah, sure. Sorry. 